Hepatitis C is a liver disease caused by the hepatitis C virus or HCV. Your liver is the largest organ inside your body and is located under your right rib cage. Your liver has many important jobs. It cleans harmful chemicals from your blood, helps you fight infections, and breaks down your food. It also stores nutrients, vitamins, and energy. If your liver gets infected by HCV, it becomes inflamed. Inflammation is your body's response to an injury or infection. Inflammation from HCV will keep your liver from doing its job correctly. Causes of Hepatitis C You can get hepatitis C from contact with another person's infected blood. Things like needles or syringes can spread the virus if they are used by an infected person and then shared with others. HCV is one of the most common viruses that affect the liver. Certain factors can increase your risk of contracting hepatitis C. Some examples, you are American. You were born in the US between 1945 and 1965. You inject, or used to inject, or snort street drugs. You received blood products or organs before they were screened for HCV. This includes having received blood transfusions or organ transplants prior to 1992, as well as having blood clotting factors before 1987. You have current or former sexual partners who are HCV infected. You are or have been incarcerated, or you were born to a mother infected with HCV. Talk with your healthcare provider about other risks that may infect you. Talk to your doctor about getting tested for hepatitis C if you suspect you have it. Symptoms of an HCV infection usually appear two weeks to six months after the virus gets in your body, but most people don't have any symptoms. If you do have symptoms, they may include fever, muscle or joint pain, feeling very tired, an upset stomach, nausea or vomiting, stomach or abdominal pain, no desire to eat or drink, dark-colored urine, gray-colored bowel movements, and yellow eyes or skin, a condition called jaundice. If you get hepatitis C, there's a good chance you will develop a liver disease called chronic hepatitis C, but the symptoms of chronic hepatitis C they usually don't appear for 10 or more years after you've been infected. People who have hepatitis C and drink too much alcohol or have HIV may develop problems with chronic hepatitis C sooner than people with just an HCV infection alone. If chronic hepatitis C isn't found or treated, you can get scarring of the liver, a condition called cirrhosis. You can also get liver failure and cancer of the liver, and chronic hepatitis C can cause abnormal bleeding, swelling in your belly and legs, and spider-like blood vessels known as angiomas. The first blood test for hepatitis measures proteins called antibodies. Our body produces antibodies against HCV if we are exposed to it. If this is your first blood test since being exposed to HCV, you will need a second one. This test is called an RNA or viral load test. It checks for HCV in the bloodstream that's been in your blood for more than six months. You may need more tests to see if the infection is harming your liver. If you have chronic hepatitis C, you should also be tested for HIV. If you have chronic hepatitis C, it's important to get treatment to help prevent more serious problems, like scarring of the liver, liver cancer, and liver failure. Hepatitis C infection is treated with medicines, which you take by mouth. These medicines can cure most people with hepatitis C, but experience few side effects. Before treatment your healthcare provider will talk with you about your specific medicines. You will need to take the medicine for 8 to 12 weeks, or sometimes longer. Your healthcare provider will monitor you during the treatment to see how well the medicine is working. You will need to get blood tests during and after the treatment, 